Hi guys, in this tutorial I am going to show you how to fully manage your bandwidth. First I will show you how to use Mandel rules to mark packets and configure Q3 and with this configuration you will be able to manage your bandwidth for all DHCP clients automatically. So let's get started. So you go to IP firewall click on Mandel and then we're going to add a Mandel rule changes the chain to forward then the in interface will be your one interface that, that is the interface that is connected to your modem then we're going to action, go to action mark connection and then we'll call these connections so what we're doing now is to mark all connections that are going that are uh, going coming into the router so we're going to mark those connections we're going to call this mark con we're going to put a comment on that so we know what it is okay next we're going to mark all of, all of those uh, packets for the connection so for connection we're going to select those connections and then we're going to mark those the packets that goes through that connection with a marking call it client down dw packet put a comment on that next we're going to do the upload traffic now so with upload we're going to use uh, pre-routing instead of forwarding and the in, the in interface will be sorry the in interface will be the bridge which is my main bridge is bridge one so it will be the main bridge and then we're going to mark all connections call this and up on and then we're going to mark all those pockets so for connection mark we're going to select con um, client up and then we're going to mark all those pockets call it client up packet okay next so next um, I'm going to create some more rules these these rules will be for browsing traffic peer-to-peer -peer traffic and any other traffic so we're going to create the the rules for HTTP traffic and HTTPS traffic. Those are what I call browsing traffic. So we're going to change protocol to TCP, and then the port is going to be 80, which is HTTP, the port that HTTP uses, and for, we're going to set 443 for HTTPS traffic, and then for the packet mark we're going to set we're going to use all the download packets we're going to mark those that meet this criteria uh, which is any any download traffic that is using port 40 port 80 or 443 and then action mark packet we're going to call this http download packet and then for pass through we're going to uncheck that and the reason why we are unchecking it is to prevent the traffic that is flowing through this rule from going into another rule so we want to stop the traffic at this point and then pass it on 
um, container route in it. So okay, we're going to create one for the upload now for browsing traffic. So we use about the same ports, 80 and 443. And the packet mark will be client upload and the action. I'm going to mark those packets as HTTP up packets. And we're not going to allow those to pass through either. Uh, okay. Okay. I'm going to add the next rule now. This rule would be for peer to peer traffic. So, if we're going to click on peer to peer. I'm going to select all peer to peer. So, we want to mark all peer to peer traffic. Look at the client mark. And this will be for all downloads, so all peer to peer downloads. And then action, mark packets. I'm going to call this P2P down packets. When uncheck pass through, we're going to create a next one now for peer to peer upload. So, all upload packets that, that are peer to peer will be marked. I'm going to mark that. Let's call it P2P up packets. Uncheck pass through, make a comment, and then lastly, now we're going to create one for any other traffic, any other traffic that doesn't meet uh, this criteria. So we have already marked HTTP traffic coming in and out of the router, peer to peer traffic that is our, uh, that is passing through the router, and now we're going to mark any other traffic that passes through. So we're going to select packet mark, download. So you realize we have not selected anything, any criteria here, because we want to capture any um, traffic that passes through the router that meets that criteria. Action, and then mark packet. I'm going to call this other, down, Packet. Same when answer that. No pass through. I'm going to make a comment. Oh, this comment. Let's copy by this. So I have other. I'm going to create a next one now for other upload. to mark those connection and call it other up packets okay good so let, let me just recap what was done here so first we have created a connection marking for all traffic that is that is passing through the one interface so that is all the download traffic that is coming in. We're going to mark those connections, just the connections in this rule. Then we're going to use that connection and then mark all the packets that is coming through. And the same here where we are doing the opposite, we are marking for the upload. So anything that is going that is going to the internet, we're going to mark those connections and then that connection would mark the packet that is going through that connection and for HTTP so all the download HTTP traffic so all the browsing traffic will will pass through this rule and all the browsing upload traffic will pass through uh, the HTTP up rule and then peer-to-peer -peer, so these two rules will be managed in peer-to-peer traffic to mark all the packets that meet uh, this criteria and then other download is any other traffic that doesn't meet HTTP or peer-to-peer, -peer, any other traffic. 
So the next step now is that we are going to use these rules to manage uh, the bandwidth 